Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you my new Java program. It's called Security Camera. You actually download an EXE and then it downloads the JAR file onto your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and get that download started. You start it up, it immediately starts downloading from where it's supposed to download and it saves it into your app data under Security Camera folder. And what you would use this program for is you use your webcam as a security camera. The hardest part about making this was making the motion detection. That took quite a while and took a while to perfect. So as soon as it's finished downloading, I will go ahead and show you the program that starts up immediately after. It's just about finished downloading. It only takes a few minutes. And as soon as it finishes downloading, it'll start the program. Um, it doesn't create a desktop icon or anything. It just saves it into your app data, and then you run it by double-clicking this icon here. So just waiting five more percent and then we will have it start up and then I can demonstrate it and show what it does and there we go so it comes up and in here um, I'll keep I guess I'll keep it small for now so there's several things that you need to know for using this um, motion detection pretty simple you click there to turn it on and you change the sensitivity and how long you want to capture it for um, the sensitivity uh, the lower it is the more likely it is to to capture motion the higher it is the less likely it is to capture motion how this works is it just checks the percentage of difference between between pictures that it has taken it's way more complicated than that but that's the basics so for the camera I'm using, um, eight or nine, nine or I mean eight, nine or ten is a good percent for me. Um, to capture after for this, um, it, this is how long you want to capture a after it detects motion. So it doesn't just take less than a second of of like just one picture. Once it detects motion, it will you can tell it to take to keep taking pictures and adding it to the video. Until for so many seconds after the motion's been detected. So for this, I'm just going to set it to two, or actually, I'll set it to one. Um, to take snapshots, if you turn this on, you can have it set up to take five second snapshots every so many minutes. So you want to every like every 25 minutes take a snapshot. You can do that. Um, I'm going to turn that off for this test. Um, in here, in password you can put in a password so someone who tries to turn it off has a hard time of turning it off of course they could probably go to task manager and shut it off so to prevent that and getting the video corrupted by them going to task manager I th there's no password for clicking exit but it does save the video but it doesn't tell them where they where it's been saved so um, for the password part I'll just put one two three four and I'll click on start camera um, you can select the camera you want and I'll choose this one then you will select where you want to save it, and I'm going to choose my desktop. And then you can name it here, which um, the name I'll call it is YouTube. Now it's going to start loading, and it's, there we go, it's beginning to record. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So if you notice, there are, um, there are, um, what is this? This thing up here. It tells you waiting for motion. So when it sees motion, it says recording at the top there. And down here, it's making the file YouTube. So if I right click on this and click properties, it's 2.4 megabytes. And then if I get it to take some more pictures, it will go up. And now it's 3.54 megabytes. And it's going to keep going up. So here, we have the clock or the time it's currently at so this is the date and the time and that's what is being used to for you to identify where it's at because right now it's not saving any of these times because it's waiting for motion so if I activate the motion by going into it it records that's pretty much the basics for this um, of since it's, since it's finding the percentage of difference between each between each frame if it's a small thing of motion, like, since I set it to a certain percent, it's not going to detect this. But if I made the sensitivity lower, it would detect it. 
Um, if the lighting changes in the room, it's definitely going to detect it. Uh, maybe this light might not do it. Yeah, see? I flipped on... I turned on a lamp. It changed the lighting, which made it start to record for a few, for about a second. Um, so it, do, it does work. My camera is not night vision, though. So if I turn off my light here, everything goes black. And since the sensitivity is really low, it's just going to be thinking it needs to record because it's not really good with the darkness. So, this is basically the security camera thing, and yes, you can make it full screen. If you, or not really full screen, but you can expand it all the way. Watch it. And I'll go ahead and click stop, and it'll ask for the password. Um, I made it 1, 2, 3, 4. It stops recording, it tells you what time it stopped at. Click OK. I'll go ahead and exit that, and now it has the video here. It came up on this side. Okay, so the video is recorded. It has the time, it has me there, and me talking. And if you notice, the starting time was at 2024, and the ending time was at... Let's see. Okay, the ending time was at 2024, and the starting time was at 23. Yeah, 23. And so it's about two minutes in distance. So this is a two-minute recording. Since it captures only motion, it's just a few seconds long. Since it there wasn't too much motion going on, except for me going through like that. So, it's somewhere around 30 seconds. 30 seconds long, because I was doing motion, causing the camera to start recording. And it's about over. See, it's capturing the darkness. Turn the light back on captures all that and that's the recording so it works it's easy to use and yes you can do something like this and get like five cameras hook them all up get a USB splitter like I'm about to do I don't have enough cameras right now and once I set that up I can have like all these cameras around here and basically have wires with USB extension cords running all around my house and have like a camera station so that's all for this video the link to download this will be in the description and I know it's gonna be AdFly um, one of the only reasons for that is you get like no money from it unless someone downloads it 10,000 times I don't expect to get anything from it um, the main reason is that it counts how many downloads you have and because other upload websites don't let you upload exe files because it can be a virus, but it's not, so I can't put it on there. I'm going to put it on my website, and it will be using AdFly. If not, yeah, I'll just give the direct link. That way I can count downloads. Hopefully AdFly allows links to EXEs. If not, I'll just put in the direct one. So that is all for now, and thanks for watching. And please take a look at this. I think you might enjoy it, if you, and you won't like it if you don't have a webcam. Make sure you have a webcam. Goodbye.